Good day, everyone. Two big reasons to celebrate today. We are celebrating, of course, Martin Luther King Day and President Obama's inauguration. Let me tell you, the inauguration creates some serious opportunities for President Obama. You know, the first opportunity he has is our debt ceiling. When is enough enough? When are we going to stop taking on debt as America, which is reducing the value of our dollar and causing inflation within our sectors? And when are we going to start to control the expenses of America once again, reduce our budgets, and try to balance our budget? Number one challenge President Obama has right after the inauguration. Number two is gun control. Now, I've spoken on my blog numerous times about gun control. Something has to be done. I don't have the answer. I don't want to take away the Second Amendment or right to bear arms. I think we all should protect our families, but I do not believe guns belong on the street. Number three, taxes. When is our government going to understand that it is time for a flat tax system and stop the bureaucracy of more and less. Everyone should pay the same thing and do away with all deductions. Next, Benghazi. Is President Obama ever going to discover the truth or tell us the truth about Benghazi? I want to tell you, we all know what happened there. And it was absolutely a travesty, but it happened at the wrong time. And because it happened right before the election, it was the biggest cover-up since Watergate. Next are retiring judges. All the way to the Supreme Court. We have a lot of seats to fill, and President Obama once again has his hands full. And lastly, but certainly not least for all of us, the food prices and the gasoline prices in America have gone absolutely hog wild. I don't know what we're going to do. I could tell you why the food prices have shot up. It's because our dollar continues to become devalued and it buys us less meaning we can't buy as much that we used to be able to buy. We can't get as much gasoline for the dollar we spend. We can't get as much food for the dollar we spend. And it's going to continue to get worse until we stop the erosion of the dollar. That's only going to happen by running a balanced budget and maybe having a surplus. President Obama, welcome to your second term. Good luck to you, sir. It's my blog, but it's your voice, and I want to hear from you today. These are big initiatives. Is our president ready to take them on?